Okay, and we're back with the first part of Bioshock 2, but it's part 28 in the Bioshock Collection playlist, because as I said, um, and when I started the, um, when I started playing Bioshock, the first Bioshock, is that the format of this playlist is just going to be the Bioshock Collection, so all the games are going to respectively go into this playlist under the next part, uh, in sequence of the part that the last game ended. So the last game ended at part 27, with Bioshock 2 uh, starting at part 28. So I put Bioshock 2 in the um, in the video title, so you know when uh, it, when it starts. And I put the end at the end of the last one, so you know when that one ends. And the last part's very short. The last the last part of the last one is only like six seven minutes because it was actually just it was just the last boss battle against Fontaine. With that being said, let us jump right into a new game. Uh, we're going to adjust the brightness. So, because looking at the capture, actually having it all the way up seems to be the best bet. This game actually seems to be darker than the last one. Okay, let's apply. Um, we'll play it on medium, just like the last one. Because what, what I want to do is I don't want to make it like too hard on me. I want to be able to beat the game and make it a playthrough that we can make substantial progress in. I mean, the last the last one, there were some times when I got stuck on a part, but that was just because I was stupid. I don't want to have to, like, get continually killed over and over and over again and not make any progress. That's not the kind of playthrough I want to put. I want to be able to get through the game to show you guys. You know? Okay. Continue. This is my favorite game in the series. 1958 beneath the Atlantic Ocean. is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head. Fire. 
and that is the intro. There were no subtitles though. I'll have to fix that later when, when we start the game. Ooh, ten years later. So it's 1968. Instead of 58. Right? It said 58 at the beginning, right? Yep, this is my favorite game because you get to play as a big daddy. It's fucking awesome. No, I'm still against the reflection. Oh man, I love the drill. I'm gonna go around drilling people. <laughs> get it? It's a euphemism. Um. Okay, well, continuing up. What, wait, what did that say? Fallen, fallen is Babylon. sister wait um audio no gameplay on on dialogue on I guess we'll turn that on too. quest day on item shimmer I guess we'll put that one on usable objects highlight all right well let's just turn everything on and see how that works That's a new enemy introduced in this game, which makes the game so much more fucking difficult in my opinion. I hate that character. I mean, it's a great character, don't get me wrong, and it adds to the story of the game, but having to fight him, it's fucking bullshit. That's all I'm saying. Now where do I go? Is there anything down here? Lamb is watching. Nope. This looks like you can't like sprint in this game. Audio log. Lesson one, mob jockeys. You are under the ocean now. If you feel the soft patter of rain on your hat, you're already fired. Lesson two. You can jumpstart a dead generator with a direct spark, but clear the guests out of the pool first. Scares these rich pricks to watch a working stiff hurling thunderbolts. You follow me? Is there anything over here? No, nope, can't go through there. Okay, so I guess we're going to plasmid therapies. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I see you! Fucking drill is awesome. Uh, yeah, see, um, the needle just kind of went through the metal cap. Daddy was sleeping for such a long time. And Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. <laughs> Daddy! Now I get Electro Bolt. Yes. Money. I like the plasmid bar in, uh, in uh, this game, because if you look at it, it's all uh, it's animated. 
The health bar is animated too, but you can't really see it because it, it's all kind of the same shade of red. There. I wonder what the fuck happened there. This way. I'm supposed to go this way. Man, this is this is my favorite game. I can't say it enough. This is my favorite game in the series. A tennis ball. Look for key codes for locked doors. One five four zero. Five, four, zero. I like this game better because when you, once you find the passcode, it uh, it, it displays it next to the thing, so you can so you know which one it My is. My husband is such a perfect idiot. Throws away all his spending money on gene tonics to affect a look of physical fitness. So he'll have an excuse to sit on his rear all day listening to radio serials. Steven, I tell him. You want to be fit? Come swim laps with me, the old-fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. I heard that. Where are My heirlooms. Leave them at least. Somebody hit me. Yeah, they introduce a couple new enemies in this game. But the most noticeable ones are the, are the Brutes. And, um... I can't remember what they're called. Ah, at last a signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are. And I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. Sure, I'll go in the ladies' room. To my daughter, Eleanor. Soon, you will be born. And Rapture will be your home. You shall be raised as I was. To advance the common good through social psychiatry. This city's potential is immeasurable, Helena. Yet our beliefs are unwelcome here. Life will be difficult, but the price of revolution is always dear. If we are patient with her, rapture will come to us. Taste of Adam in wind. This is Dr. Sophia La with a message for the people. Remember, you I believe this home. game you automatic think of me not as leader oh, wait, no, no. but as mother I mean I like this game because of the dual wield ability I am back in the rapture after so many years the little ones I rescued are grown up and think of me no more after what I once did to them it was a joy to be forgotten but now all around the world children vanished by the sea kidnapped and so I return in fear of what I already know. Someone is making new little ones, continuing my work, my sins. Even if I am to die for it, I must stop them. The Rivet Guy. <laughs> I hear a creature of the floor. This weapon's pretty cool too, but I, I, I still prefer the drill. I would like to get more fuel for my drill. Well, I, I believe uh, rivets are one of the most common uh, forms of ammo in this game. Barely made it down alive. But here it is. And it's real. Rapture. This is where that thing took my, my poor baby girl. From what I saw in the sub, most of the city's in ruins, but there were lights here and there, and shapes moving. Ugh, I'm rambling. Excuse
scared, I guess. But maybe, if I find this Dr. Lamb I keep hearing over the PA, I'll find Cindy too. Man. Um. Hello. Bioshock I've only played like three times. Uh, twice before and then one and then the third time was in the in the playthrough that I just did. This game, I've had to play through this game at least maybe six or seven times. It's just I love it. I love this game. But I mean every single time I play through it, I'm reminded of how much how much a pain in the ass the big sisters are. And already I find myself seeking Every time. a respite from my vacation. And she deems it necessary to chide me for working. The words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I found it rapture to be free of law and God. To live among those for whom work is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of bearing my child, Till now, I had never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year. We will be reborn in the cloud, in the cold womb of the ocean. Demeter's Banquet Hall. Oh, that's a nice statue. Give the creek. I gotta get a better chair. <laughs> now, this is where it brings into part the underwater parts of the game. Because since you're a big daddy, you can go outside into the pressures of the sea. When you're outside, there's um, you can actually find atom slugs. And then I believe like each one there's only like 20 In that atoms. suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. All right, diary. Last entry. Lizzie and I, we found a sphere. And we're going home. Ain't that right, baby? Next stop, top side! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. It was you who saved us, Sammy. It was you, Button. I... What was that? What's that sound? She's seen us. It's Lamb. Torpedo! Ah, I'm trying to... <laughs> ah! The only problem with the Atom Slugs is that they're very hard to find. That's a new Big Daddy type that's put in the game. The Rumbler. They, they can throw mini turrets. They were originally going to be put in the first game, but they scratched it at the last second. Um, originally the design was that they uh, they just shoot cannonballs at you. But they were later called the Rumbler, and they throw mini turrets in the second one. Yeah. 
Yeah, the thing about the atom slugs is that they're actually really hard to find. Sometimes you can just come across them easily, but I mean, most of the time they're just, they're just pretty damn hard to find. Just need that. I don't think I'm really gonna go out of my way to look for them. If I if I find one, then I find one. But you know, I'm not really gonna go out of my way or anything to find them. There are some that I remember where they are, though. If I if I remember exactly where they are, then I might as well. Yeah. If I don't, I'm not gonna go out of my way to just look. We sink like a rock. But at the same time, we're still kind of buoyant. I don't get it. That's probably because we're underwater. But I mean, we're so heavy. Like, the amount of equipment that we're wearing, we're so heavy that the effects of water shouldn't really be that, be that good on us, you know? Daddy's home. I'm gonna continue this first part for uh for another like nine minutes. I'm gonna make it half an hour long. Cause it's the first part of Bioshock 2, might as well, you know. And then in normal format with the last ones with the last uh episodes, I'm just gonna make each episode around twenty minutes. Saving content. The Atlantic Express. Herr Delta, you arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. I don't have no tactics, no more. <laughs> they over here? Nope, doesn't. What? Oh, they're big daddy suits. <laughs> I'm like Drill fuel, how much? I got a lot. Continuing onwards. Which I'm supposed to go. Oh, that's just a fire chamber. Now, most who survive are like this splicers. They're drug addicts, vicious animals. Throw that machines to subvert them to your side. Nice. I can only use it once. See, this is the um, the hacking in the second game. You just gotta stop it on the right spot. Uh, damage to bots and stuff like that, which I really like that they gave incentive of getting bonuses when you're hacking. It makes the hacking much more appealing in this game, in my opinion. Um, and and the hacking does get harder later on, but it still gives you incentive to hack. You know, like as in the first game, it was just you know like really like what felt tedious and really actually difficult to do. Um, hacked health season cost less, get a blue bonus hack, and get a drop of free for sake of it. Okay, now where's my first aid kit? There we go. This is Dr. Sophia Lamb. It's the D pad to be in this game, and not Circle. But the tyrant dwells within Circle is used as a quick mail. Remember, we reject the G. We reject the self. We reject the tyrant. I'm told that the people grow tense and isolated in the absence of the sun. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. Do they miss the state censor, I wonder? Wartime seizure of private assets? 
or the Cheka police vanishing them in the night? Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. Fine. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. But where is that girl? I can't carry any more rivets. How much can I carry then? 48? Might as well use some. you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta, since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain, paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. I think I fell in water. Some uh, graphical bug there. <laughs> Where do I go? Well, I'm over here, so I just, I assume I go this way. Man, this game is beautiful. Now you know of the enemy we share. Sophia Lamb, the camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Absolutely gorgeous. The graphics are, are better than in the um, the first Bioshock, which is which in my opinion very much adds to the appeal of the game. It ju it just looks absolutely stunning. Hey, you managed to follow me through all that water? That's amazing. Careful. Security cameras belong to Lam. But if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. Yeah, yeah, like I, like I was saying before, the hacking in this game much more appealing than in the uh, than in the, uh, the first one. Much more better. It's, so, it's, it's, it's easier. In in my opinion, it's a, it's actually it makes the game more fun. The new hacking system. Now, I really hope they make another Bioshock game. That's in my personal opinion, because I feel like they, there are so many different ways they can push the franchise. Because, I mean, Infinite was, um, was it the greatest Bioshock game? No, in my opinion, it's it's the second one. Um, is it still a good game? I believe, yeah, it's still, it's still a great game. Um, but, Father, I mean, many people, me, because they Eleanor. felt... I know you're awake in They put it in a I wrong direction. Mother that the won't series be able had to, died with it. To toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for I you. Believe if I'm right, you can use it still now. So many Please things they can do with the series. Find me. I mean, they could make a futuristic bow shock for sure. Absolutely. Tell Jesus. 
throw objects at foes. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. Well, on that note, we're going to end the episode here. See y'all in the next one.